Hello everyone. So today we have a very nice question in game theory. So it's about a game called the Circle of Truth. Now I'm going to explain to you what this game is in the question. And once you hear that, you can maybe give it a little bit of time on your own, try to solve that, and then maybe see my solution. Cause it's really only involving casework. It's actually very nice and a good introduction problem to game theory. So without wasting any time, let's get started. This is the problem number one from the Israel National Math Olympiad in the year 2018. And in this video, we're going to be learning about circle of truth, which is a pretty nice problem in game theory, uh, the realm of truth. And I'll just be showing you the problem in a second. And yes, after which we have the book sessions for National Math Olympiad and at the end, a similar challenging problem. This video is sponsored by Chinta.com. Since 2010, Chinta has trained thousands of students from all around the world in mathematical olympiads, physics olympiads, computer science and informatics olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, and research projects for school and college students. Okay, so what does it tell us? So n people sit in a circle, right? So let me just maybe like draw the circle. So let's say we have A1, A2, A3, all the way up till AN minus one, AN, and obviously A1. Right, so it goes something like this. And each of them is always a liar or a truth teller, right? So they are either always lying or they're always a truth teller. And every person knows exactly who speaks the truth and who lies. So for example, in a circle, there is you, there is me, and there's some third person, let's say X. Now, if you say the truth, both you, me, and X, so all three of us know for a fact that you say the truth. Similarly, if I say the truth, all three of us know that I say the truth. Similarly, let's say X is not a truth teller, X is, let's say, a liar, then all three of us know that X lies. So it's something like that. The information is public in a way. Everybody knows what everyone else is, right? In the circle, obviously. So that is what they mean when they say that every person knows exactly who speaks the truth and who lies. The information, if you are like a truth teller or liar, is public. Everyone knows, okay? Then they say that in their respective turns, each person says the person two seats to my left is a truth teller. Now, for the course of this problem, I'm going to be considering the convention that the people are sitting outwards, right? So they are facing this way, outwards in a way. So basically, basically, A1 will be two places to the left of A3, right? So A1 will be here and A3 will be like this. So A1 will be to the left of A3 in a way. Okay, so that's the convention that I'm following. But really, inward, outward doesn't matter here much. Just the directions would change if you're considering inward, but nothing uh, other significant other than that. So they're saying that in their respective turns, each person says the person two seats to my left is a truth teller. Okay, great. And then it is known that there is at least one truth teller and at least one liar in the circle, right? So basically all cannot see the truth and all cannot see the lie. And I think that's pretty obvious because if all say the truth or all say the lie, that's a very degenerate case, right? And then they're asking, is this setup, is this possible for n is equal to 2017 and n is equal to 5778? And if you're wondering, is there any connection between those two numbers? Well, the problem happened in 2018. So 27 is quite close to that. And 2017 in the Hebrew year, I believe is 5778. Right? Okay, great. So I think that's the only relation between these problems, other than the fact that one of them is an odd number and the second one is even, which is kind of the real thing that we need to look at. And you'll understand that one is possible and the other is not just because of the parity. One is an odd number, one is an even number. But okay, maybe let's just make certain formal assertions now. So like I was saying, we have N people in a group, right? A1, A2, A3, dot 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 a n minus one and a n okay great so let's say that a3 tells the truth or let's say that a3 says 
so let's say a3 says a1 tells the truth now why i'm saying this is because in the question they are said that in their respective turns each person says the person two seats to my left is a truth teller so like i was saying before a1 is two seats to the left of a3 so a3 says that a1 is a truth teller two seats to the left great so a3 says that a1 tells the truth okay great but what does that mean but what does that mean so a5 will also say that a3 says the truth so a5 will also sell say that a3 tells the truth okay similar with a7 similar with a9 well what what what, what are we trying to get over here well am is saying that a m minus 2 says the truth right because you're going in gaps of two like two places to the left so a m and then you have a m minus 2 which is two places to the left of a m okay great well now there's this interesting observation interesting observation that a m a m minus 2 you know a m minus 4 all of them will say the truth and so on and so forth will say the truth right but but a m plus 2 a m plus 4 a m plus 6 and so on and so forth will also say the truth right because if a is saying the truth what is a a is nothing but two places to the left of a m plus 2 so all of these terms are also saying the truth so effectively what i'm trying to hint at is a right a m minus 2 a m minus 4 and it's going on in this direction and even the right direction a m plus 2 a m plus 4 and so on and so forth all say the truth and this is a very nice result i think that we have formulated over here let me just mark that as number one so they are all truth tellers in such a sequence now let's come on to n is equal to 2017 so let's discuss for n is equal to 2017 what happens in such a scenario what does n is equal to 2017 again mean 2017 people are sitting in a circle right so a1 a2 a3 a4 all the way up till we will have a2016 and a2017 so a n is a2017 okay great now again because we have this a m's over here right this should be a m actually uh, because we have this AMs over here, we don't really know if M is odd or M is even, right? So let's just consider for case one that M is even. So if M is even, then that implies that A2, A4, A6, all the way up till A2016 are truth tellers. So say the truth, right? M, M plus 2, M plus 4, dot, 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 till 2016. All of them essentially say the truth. Right? They're truth tellers. Well, what does that mean? So look at this circle. This diagram is very important. So this person is saying the truth. This person is just saying the truth. Somewhere in the middle will have A6. That will also say the truth. And all the way up to A2016, all of these guys say the truth. Now, you see A2 is saying the truth. A2 is saying the truth. Right? A2017 is two places to the left of A2. That means A2017 also has to say the truth. And because A2017 has to say the truth, there will be A2015 somewhere in here which also has to say the truth. A2013 will also have to say the truth. And similarly, all the way up till A1 will also have to say the truth. Right? So this then necessarily implies that A2017 is equal to A2015 is equal to A2013 all the way up till A1 say the truth so what does this mean so a1 is equal to a2 is equal to a3 all the way up to a2017 say the truth all 2017 of these terms say the truth therefore all ai's say the truth and therefore this case fails therefore m cannot be even so m can't be even 
Because here we're considering m is even, right? So clearly m is equal to even, it doesn't satisfy, right? That's where we consider the second case. Case two, m is odd. And there's a very similar assertion over here as well. So here what happens is, let me just draw the diagram again. I have a1, a2, a3, all the way up till a2016 and a2017. So if m is odd, a1 is equal to a3 is equal to a5. This goes all the way up till a2017. And all of them are truth tellers. Or they say the truth. Again, just looking at in the diagram, a1 says the truth, a3 says the truth, a5 will say the truth, and this will go all the way up till a2017. Now, if you again see, a2016 is two places to the left of a1 which means that if A1 is saying the truth, A2016 also has to say the truth, A2014 will be somewhere over here, that will also have to say the truth, A2012, A2010, all the way up to A2 will also have to say the truth. What does that mean? Well, A2016 is equal to A2014, is equal to A2012, all the way up till A2 also say the truth. So again, we have this kind of a degenerate case, where a1 is equal to a2 is equal to a3 all the way up till a2017 are all truth tellers. So basically all AIs are truth tellers and therefore this does not work, right? So m is equal to odd does not work, m is equal to even does not work, therefore n is equal to 2017 does not work. And again, it really does not work because in the question they've explicitly given us that it is known that there is at least one truth teller and at least one liar in the circle. Here, what we are really getting is that all AIs say the truth, right? All AIs are saying the truth. That means it's just impossible. Right? It's just a degenerate case. All of them cannot say the truth, both for M is even and M is odd. We are see seeing that all say the truth and that's just impossible, right? So N is equal to 2017 clearly fails. Now, what next? Now we look at n is equal to 5778, right? What was given in the question? We're looking at n is equal to 5778. So again, let me just maybe make like a diagram. So I have a1, a2, a3, a4, all the way up till a5777 and a5778, something like this, right? Something like this. Now, here, here, I'm going to say that a1 is equal to a3 is equal to a5 all the way up to a5777 say the truth. Now, what is happening over here? Well, a1 is saying the truth, a3 is saying the truth, somewhere there's a5, a7, all of them are saying the truth up till a5777, all of them are saying the truth. Now, if you actually notice, a5777 is two places to the left of A1. A5778 or 5778 is actually not two places to the left of A1. So what does that mean? It means that it's entirely possible that A2, A4, A6, all the way up to A5778 say a lie. Right? And this case is entirely possible because A2 says a lie, A4 says a lie, A6 will say a lie. All the way up to A5778 will say a lie. And this is entirely possible. Similarly, 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 it is possible that A1 is equal to A3 is equal to A5, all the way up to A5777 say a lie. And A2 is equal to A4 is equal to A6, all the way up till A5778 say the truth and this is again possible let me just showcase this to you through the diagram so here we are trying to say that the all the odd numbers essentially say the line right and the even numbers say the truth so a4 is true a6 is true um a2 is true a4 is true a6 is true and all the way up to a5778 will be true right now again a5778 is two places to the left of a2 there's not two places to the left of A1. So again, it is entirely possible that A1 says false, A3 says false, A5 will also lie. 
you know a7 a9 all of these will lie and they lie all the way up to this a5 triple seven right so again this case that i'm telling you that all the odd numbers here lie and all the even numbers here lie, uh, say the truth this is entirely true right this is a possibility it is possible it is possible and all the odd numbers say the truth and the even numbers say a lie that is also entirely possible so therefore it the the case or the situation the situation is definitely possible it is definitely possible for the number for n is equal to 5778 right so n is equal to 2017 clearly fails and n is equal to 5778 clearly passes the test and again you can in fact actually generalize this the thing that was happening in 2017 was that a1 and a 2017 and well, 1 and 2017 are both odd numbers right so and a1 and a5778 a1 is obviously odd, 1 is odd, and 5778 is an even number. So this is why it was working, and this is why it was not working. There's kind of like a parity game involved over here. So yeah, I really hope you learned something from that, and let's move forward. Okay, so you have some book sessions on National Math Olympiads, Elementary Number Theory of David Burton, Problem Solving Strategies by Arthur and Gell, Functional Equations by Venkata Chala, Problems in Plane Geometry by Sharigan, Elementary Number Theory by Siapinski, Graph Theory by Harari, and Combinatrix by Brualdi. Okay, so at the end we have a similar but challenging problem and it says that to each vertex of a regular pentagon an integer is assigned, right? A regular pentagon an integer is assigned. So then the sum of all five numbers is positive. All five numbers is positive, right? If three consecutive vertices are assigned the numbers x, y, z respectively and y is less than zero, then the following operation is allowed. x, y and z are replaced by x plus y, negative y and z plus y respectively such an operation is performed repeatedly as long as at least one of the five numbers is negative determine whether this procedure necessarily comes to an end after a finite number of steps now this is a relatively tough problem but it's also a very famous problem so maybe try it out try it out a little bit and if you're able to make any progress let me know until then i'll see in the next video thank you very much and bye-bye the programs are designed for students who are passionate about mathematics and they are personalized with one-on-one -on -one training, individual evaluation, and remedial sessions. The reason Chinta students are successful over the last 10 years because they are taught by mathematicians and real Olympiads from leading universities in India, United States, and Europe. Some of our students come back to teach at Chinta from Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, MIT, UCLA, ISI, CMI, IITs, TIFR, and IISC. For more information, visit chinta.com.